Alright, so this video is just uh, to give everyone a heads up that my Rainbow Mage uh, overlay skins are updated for Shadowbringers. Uh, and it just as a reminder on how to install this thing. So first you will need to have your ACT completely set up. Um, there's other videos online that does that, how to set that up for Final Fantasy XIV. Make sure that you have the Final Fantasy XIV plugin and also make sure that you have it unblocked from your Windows firewall. Um, and also there's some other like minor settings like uh, your encounter calling should be like 30 or 45 seconds or something like that. Uh, but anyway, so that if you have ACT set up, able to parse, and you want to add the overlay skin, it's pretty easy. So I have my download link. You could use the Mega Upload link. I think I'll have a Dropbox link and or the Google Drive link. I'll have, I'll have the same zip file. So Google sometimes, for some reason, uh, it's convenient for me in that the link always stay the same when I have like different versions uploaded. But sometimes it takes a while to get to the download part. It does like a virus scan and everything. So anyways, once uh. You have it downloaded so it's taking its sweet time but once you have it downloaded do not extract it if you're going like straight up extracting it you're doing it wrong the first thing you have to do and have to have to do is right click go to properties and then you see this thing right here it says unblock you must unblock it and click apply or else it wouldn't work then now now that it's unblocked uh, that option will disappear uh, and then now you could extract it so here i'm just going to extract it all here Let it, uh, let it do its thing. Alright, so here is the build 64-bit folder that I should have extracted. Go inside of it, there should be a build folder, uh, and copy the whole folder. So I'm going to right-click, copy. And now you want to go to a different folder, which is here, inside C, Program Files, x86, or maybe not x86, but C, Program Files, and find the, your Advanced Combat Tracker folder and then paste that build folder in here. And now my build folder is pasted right here. Now you want to run your advanced combat tracker. Um, I, I always run as administrator this program. I think there might be some issues if you don't run it as administrator. Uh, but anyways, you want to go to plugins, you want to click browse, go to that build folder that you just uh, caught pasted in here, and then click on the overlay plugin.dll, and then click add enable plugin and then it should be something like this. I've already uh, installed it once so it's already in my settings so uh, you, some, you might see something slightly different but it should be something like this and it should be enabled and now you should have an overlay plugin.dll tab that you click on. When you click on it, it uh, usually defaults to spell timer. Uh, ignore this one, uh, you don't really use this. Uh, make sure you're on the mini parse overlay part and here you, you want to make sure that first of all uh, show overlay is on so you can see that right now it says no data to show up on top left corner I'll make sure that it, this is clicked uh, and then there's some other things uh, one is automatically hide overlays for this video since I'm tapping back and forth I'm going to disable that so it's always showing um, and then there's also some click through and lock overlay stuff and you could see that uh, there's a little like triangle tab so depending on uh, who you install it from like the default skin is going to be different but for mine uh, there's a little tab that's like a little triangle it's on the Acer right chart right now uh, or if I look at the sky there that's easier to see this little triangle thing uh, that is if you disable click through and lock overlay that is your resize option to resize how big your box is so I guess uh, uh, to, uh, it'd be better to show if I get some parsing on here first so let me just attack something so now I'm in combat and now this resize can be Use to resize the size of your overlay. It needs to be big enough to accommodate all the text, otherwise it get all squashed together. But that is that, and then also I wanted to mention that yeah, it's it's now all updated for Shadowbringer. So uh, let me just switch to a different job first, get far enough. Switch to one of the new jobs, which I haven't really leveled yet, and let me reset my ACT encounter. Uh, and then we turn back on my locking and all that stuff. So here I'm going to go back to the dummy and you should be able to see that the job icons are updated. I cannot hit this level 70 dummy because I'm level 60. But anyways, there you go. There's some DPS. Uh, and the dancer icon is there. So now, of course, you can switch between different overlays. So the one that it comes with by default, I think it's just mini parse.html. It's in the advanced combat tracker build folder resources. So inside this folder, all these HTMLs are different skins. 
So for example, the one that maybe what it came with is this one, mini parts, if you just directly install it. I think I made it like default one of mine, just so that I don't have to deal with people complaining about bugs and stuff. But there's a bunch of other people's uh, mini parts, so let's let's look at this one, for example. This one's a different style, right? I don't know. Some people have different tastes, some people like this one. Um, and I, I fixed that one too. So all the ones with like my name appended to it, I've done some fix on it, either bugs or icons or something like that. So here's someone else's. It's the same person, but just different style, I guess. Uh, a lot of people like the mini parse glow icon ones. So here is, for example, this one. This one doesn't have a background, so we we'll use the one with the background. Uh, glow icon background. Something like that. So now you could see exactly how much damage you're doing. And of course you might need to resize it, uh, so I need to... This one is probably a bit wider, so again, uh, enable your click-through and uh, block your overlay. Now you can resize it to whatever size you deem necessary, and then go back and recheck those again. Now, of course, you could automatically hide overlays such that if you're tapping into a different window, it's not always on your computer. But uh, yeah, uh, let's go test it out in a trial or something just uh, to show you what the hell is going on. Alright, so it looks like we got... Uh, Bismarck, but there's one new drop in here. That's one gunbreaker sound is that shows that something is working. Alright, so I guess all the jobs are getting detected here. And they are being listed. So I think there should be eight, eight jobs, and you can see that you know they're getting up there. Only two mobs, but whatever. Uh, now let's switch between some of these different ones. Hopefully my teammates don't die while I'm doing this. So for example, one of uh, my no background ones. See that's how it looks like. You can see all the job rolls. But if you want some job roll colors, there's one with roll colors. Uh, here, here's one with background and roll colors. So I usually use this one. Uh, it is, has your own max hit and the max hit of your party. Uh, apparently my size did the most damage, single target damage in this party, but okay. Sure. It also has uh, some heal percentage, critical percentage, number of deaths people have. You know, sometimes people die. And I guess I should be DPS in this uh, interface too, to help these guys out. Oh god, we better do it. We better do it. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, uh, but yeah, so it looks, looks like all of the jobs are working there. And let's switch to some other ones too. So what about the... This one. I think this one always highlights yourself as white. Oh, I ran into that. We're gonna have lilies now. Uh, and all the other jobs are also there. Have a bit of a lag here. I guess I should actually heal <laughs> instead of looking at my meter. <laughs> I don't want to wipe this team. Sorry, guys. Um, let's switch to a different one. So we will try. What about this, guys? Uh, okay, I mean, it's a bit of a plainer one. Some people like a sinner, uh, simpler approach. Now let's try a different one. I'm going to hit by all these tornadoes. Uh, what about. This guy. Oh, did we already see that one? Let's try the crystal one. Oh, okay, that looks pretty good. That must look like like a derp running around. <laughs> like, what's this guy doing? Just heal these guys with some regens, and we can go try a different one. Uh. I forget what I fixed on this one. It's different than the other ones, but... I don't know, maybe there's some highest hit or something, I forget. This is one a lot of people use, though. Any more in here? This guy also has a... I also fixed his. So you can see, uh... All the colors. They're colored by jobstone. Some of these are colored by jobstone, 
which I don't think makes too much sense. Some of these are colored by rolls, which I think makes more sense. Or just no color at all. This one also has a no job colors one. Yeah, okay, it's all blue. And... I guess we'll just switch back to the one I normally use, which is no background roll color. Alright, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, and hope you guys enjoy. And if there's any issues, whatever, feel free to ask in the comments. Uh, usually I'm able to help sometimes. Oh god, I'm gonna die in this stupid duty. I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.